joined by Amanda Ribas. Our first question goes to Jay Anderson with Kate Side Press. Okay. Thanks very much, Amanda. Congratulations on the win. A quick submission. Did you know you had her caught right away? Hello, thank you. So for me, what a surprise too to get in in the, in the first round and with armbar because I was wondering and Paige didn't tap with armbar and she did with me. Thank God. I think I believe so hard in my technique and did it right. So I'm really happy, really, really. So you were surprised by the arm bar. I was wondering <laughs> yeah. if that was part of the strategy because she has had, you know, arm surgeries over the years and it's not nice to say, but that would be a way to win. My strategy is kick her arm. <laughs> but if it was submission, I was thinking and go to the neck or something because she broke her arm in the last fight and she didn't tap. So for me, it is not in my plan to get the arm bar. It was to get the neck, but get it. I'm happy for that. <laughs> Coming into this fight, and I mean, I, you couldn't tell because you've been happy all week long, it seems. But there was a lot of attention on Paige, talk about her contract being up. Did you feel overlooked at all? Ah, I don't think so. It's, you know, when I, I mean, I'm mean, training for my fight, I just thinking in myself. I don't look too much at medias or and nothing about that. My dad looks for me and he tell me like, well, it is important. So that is not important for me. I was thinking Paige was trying to talk a lot about her contract to get my focus down, but that, that doesn't happen with me. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> And uh, you said after the fight that you're definitely going back down to straw weight. Is there any fight at flyweight that would convince you to stay? I think with someone rank it, I don't know, maybe top 15 or temp top 10, definitely I will get it if the UFC get to me. All right, fair enough. And last one for me, I mean, Fight Island has been a big deal. This is a huge card. How excited were you to be part of the first event here ah, i'm feeling so good because imagine here the people love jiu-jitsu and i get my fight in the beginning with arm bar so i'm feeling like the princess <laughs> you know i'm feeling really happy and really uh, happy yeah that's the word for me absolutely it is well congratulations enjoy the victory thank you thank you our next question is from Louise Green with MMA Crazy. Congratulations, Amanda. Now you were originally matched up with Paige back in March. So how did it feel to finally get in there with her and, and be able to pull off such a spectacular finish? Uh, I am really happy, really excited with my fight because I can prove my jiu-jitsu is good. I trained so hard for that. So I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling ecstasy. <laughs> and obviously this fight was at 125 pounds. How did you feel on the run up, not having to cut that extra weight? And did you feel like it had any impact on your performance tonight? No, in my performance, no. I just thinking I'm not look with my abs, okay? <laughs> because I like more, you know, thinny. But I, I feel really good in this weight class, but my original class is 115 and I won't fight again in this 115. What would you say your future, what do you think the future holds for you in the 115 division and, and in the UFC in general? I think if the UFC give me a great fight in 125, like top 15 or top 10, I will get it right away. But I want in 115 to get more more good in ranking, you know, like, I don't know, because I am 14 in ranking 115. I want, I don't know, top 10, top five to get the belt. But if they give me some someone top 15 in 125, I will be really excited. And you spoke before about uh, following in Amanda Nunes' footsteps. How much 
she to you? How much one? How much of an inspiration is she for you? Uh, I was training in America Top Team and I meet Amanda there. And for me, she is not just double champ, it's triple champ. She has two belts and her heart is a champion heart. She is amazing person. And for me, she is an inspiration, really. And I want to, to do like her champion in two categories. Not, not now, of course, in the future, but I'm wanting to be like her. And uh, how will you celebrate tonight, or today, rather, uh, your win? Ah, I will eat my chocolates because I can eat just after fight, right? And the hotel, they give to us like a cage, chocolate in cage, in octagon. That's so beautiful, so I want to eat. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Get in the beach too. Oh, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah, well, congratulations. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is with Jim Varsalo from the Miami Herald. Congratulations from South Thank Florida. You. Hey. <laughs> what was it like? This whole thing was going on in the morning where you are there. So how early did you have to go over there? Just what was that all like? It obviously didn't seem to bother you how quickly you won. <laughs> I, I wake up like at three in the morning. I was in the hotel and we come here, I think was for 35 and start to warm up and everything. And I did my fight and I while, while I was walking in the street with sun and me, what, what is this? It's, too crazy it's really different different you didn't you weren't tired at all i mean it just you were used to it you were used to that already did you get ready for that during the last several days yes yes i came here and i trained it in the morning like that to my body be prepared how was your nose and what happened there very early my nose I don't know, I need to watch my fudge, but it's a little hard. <laughs> but I need to watch my fight to to say correct for you, but I <laughs> Yeah, because it started right, it was bleeding and all. Was it just it just started it, was it something that you did or she did or it just it just started bleeding? Or don't know. I don't know what happened to I need to see. And now you did your training in Brazil with your father, your brother. I know with the COVID, it's, it's, there's travel restrictions and all. But will you be coming back to South Florida to train with American Top Team? Is that in the future? I think yes. We need, they need to open the, the como se fala a fronteira? They need to open the border for Brazilians. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> sure. I think it's close, yeah. But my, my camp was amazing in Brazil. I did with my dad and my brother. And Coach Parrumpa, he, is, he was always with us in the cell phone and did all the adjustments. So it was amazing, amazing. So it was like having two camps, really, then, right? Yes. And then did you mention Amanda Nunez and then also obviously with Nina as well, Nina Ansaroff. Did you get a text yet? I know it's still early, but did you get a text from any of them yet congratulating you? <laughs> I, I didn't take my phone yet, but before the fight, I saw that their, they put in her Instagram. Oh, I was so happy because for me, I am a big fan of Nina and I'm Amanda, and I won when I saw her put my photo and let's go, Amandinha. And me, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was happy. And you did go and you ended it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. That's all we have for you today. Thank you. Thank you.